Hello, my beautiful Libras. Welcome to your weekly love forecast for May 10th to 16th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. If you would like to become a member, all you have to do is click the join button below. And guys, you can check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information. Your sun sign represents your soul. Your moon sign represents your emotions. And your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these make up who you are. So feel free to cross watch for more information. So guys, what are we going to talk about today? We are going to talk about how does your love interest feel about you? What's your blockage lane challenge this week that you have to overcome? What is going to be happening for the day today? And then we're going to sum everything up with your overall, like what's going to exactly happen here. So it's more clear, more clear to you about what's going to happen. So as you guys know, it's a pretty extensive reading. If you guys like it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Stick with me till the end. Let's jump right in. I'm gonna have my Libra's Romantic Love Life for May 10th to 16th. I'm gonna have my Libra's Romantic Love Life for May 10th to 16th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's gonna have my Libra's Romantic Love Life for May 10th to 16th? Libra's Romantic Love Life for May 10th to 16th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's gonna have my Libra's Romantic Love Life for May 10th to 16th? Libra's Romantic Love Life from May 10th to the 16th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So we're going to start off with your love interest feelings. Let's take a look at this. So whatever you turn on this video for, this person has been really looking at things when it comes to you, has really been doing a lot of soul searching when it comes to you, and they've been trying to reveal some things about the situation. This person feels like you're very nurturing, you're very caring, all right? This person feels like they can't be honest here or they feel like there's some kind of deception around the connection that they've really been looking at deeply. Okay. This person feels like there is something stuck here or they feel like they tried to see things from a new way and a new perspective with the hangman energy. This person feels like they just want to rush into you with the Knight of Wands energy, or they feel like there is a lot of chemistry and passion, or they feel like there may be a lack of commitment there with the Knight of Wands energy. This person feels like they just want to have a potential for a long-term commitment here. There is something to do with an offer here, Ace of Pentacles energy. Okay, so I feel like this person's like, all right, I need to look at things deeply because you know what, this person's very nurturing and caring, but I don't know if I can be honest with them. It's like they feel like there is this sense of they have to make some kind of sacrifice here, and they may feel like there's a lack of commitment, and they they want a potential long-term commitment here with the Ace of Pentacles energy. They're ready for an opportunity here for a potential uh, long-term commitment. They want something of value here. So they have this burden and challenge here with the cross card energy because there's something to do with a person and they feel like they want some kind of improvements and changes with you or they want to start a family because also look at the the nurturing card means queen of pentacles she is a nurturing motherly kind of energy right and we see the store card energy can represent starting a family right because storks can bring home the babies and then also this could be about this person wants to change from one location to another location or maybe they don't want to be honest with you about starting a family here and this potential long-term commitment Okay, and then we see three plus six is seven, eight, nine. Desires, two plus eight is nine, 10 for some sense of completion to put the work or effort into it. So now I wanna see what is your blockage delay and challenge for this week? Let's find out. A lot of deep, heavy soul searching. The hermit card energy is coming out again. It's like you're taking that alone time and you're kind of trying to reveal some things here, trying to bring light to it. And you're like, I don't feel like things are moving in my favor. I want to wait for the right timing there. And it's like you feel like someone's not being honest with you or you're trying to be very strategic. You know, like foxes are like cats. So it's, it's like sly, slick kind of behavior. But fox, uh, foxes or cat energy can be very intelligent. It's like, you know how a cat is. The cat wants to be bothered when the cat wants to be bothered, right? It's a fickle kind of energy. And it's also the energy of the cats are very intelligent. Like, they do things, they're, they use their intelligence to really think about things and contemplate things. There's the hermit card energy until it's the right timing. So that's part of the block Jillian challenge. It's like you're kind of like taking a lot of time to look at like the details. And it's like you want to be intelligent and you're wanting to wait for things to turn in your favor. And that's why there's delays there. 
So let's see what's going to be the day today. So we see on the 10th, you're going to be dealing with a soulmate connection. And we see on the 11th, it's like, wow, there's a soulmate connection and we have an opportunity here for success. There's something important about this. And on the 12th, you're just like, I don't know what to do. I'm confused. I need to gain clarity here. So let's keep going. On the 10th, there is some kind of shock or surprise about this soulmate connection. On the 11th, it's like, I need to take control of things. I need it done in an organized, structured way when it comes to this opportunity. And there's defensive energy because of on the 12th about, oh man, I don't want to get hurt because I don't know what to do here. I'm so confused. Okay, let's keep going. On the 10th, it's like, we're going to have a conversation here, which really shocks and surprises you. And there's something to do with this friend here with the doll card energy, which helps you gain control around this opportunity or get, maybe gives you advice here. And we see you have this opportunity here coming up on the 12th, but it's just like, oh man, I don't know what to do. I'm so confused. I, I, I got my wall up. I'm defensive about this. So there's a conversation taking place here, which is really going to shock and surprise you about this soulmate connection. And it's like, there's this opportunity and let's talk about the emperor card energy. The emperor card can be a boss. It can be at work. It can be a fatherly energy because remember, emperor is the father of the major arcana. And, and there's a sense of loyalty or friendly around, friendly, friendliness, friendliness friendliness around this connection, right? With a doll card energy. And now because of that energy, it's like, I don't, know, I don't know what to do. I'm so confused. I don't want to get hurt when it comes to this opportunity. I know that this, this door is open for me, but it's just like, I don't know what to do. So you're shocked about the sense of control and, and this, uh, or this boss or this fatherly figure. And you're like, ah, I'm defensive about it. There's communication about this loyalty, this friendliness, or a friend and an opportunity. Oh my goodness. So far, this week is off to a bang, is it not? Starting with the tower card energy there? Oh my goodness. Okay, so on the 13th, there's heart to heart conversations happening, okay? About this opportunity of true love, Ace of Cups energy. And the sense of healing around it with the tree card energy. It's like, I want to lay down my roots here. Like, come on, let's do this. And it's like revealing this truth about love. Ace of Cups energy, this heart to heart conversation about revealing this truth about love. And then we see on the 14th, it's like, all right, I need to be wise in my decision making when it comes to love and romance. And it's like, I don't want to be naive about this with the Page of Swords energy. I need to look at the bigger picture here because, you know, there's person cards coming out. So it's like you're trying to look at things from a, the higher perspective, the bigger picture, this new ideas, new concepts about this. Two plus nine is saying, okay. 10, 11, a choice needs to be made here. So we see there's a soulmate connection and wisdom around this. The shocking energy about this sense of naivete or this new ideas and new concepts, talking in conversations with this person or a person here. We see there's an opportunity here to have hard to conversations again. <laughs> and then let's go here. Let's see what's going on the 15th here. It's saying there's some kind of commitment, engagement, or marriage. So it was wisdom because of a commitment, engagement, or marriage. And look at that love and abundance or starting a family here and some kind of movement and change around this happens. So there's an opportunity here to have hard to hard conversations about a commitment, engagement, or marriage or something to do with a commitment. There's control here or gaining control or wanting it organized structure in a certain way when it comes to this opportunity of true love because of love and abundance or this the sense of oh my god i'm so attracted to you i want to start a family with you kind of energy okay let's keep going on the 16th ah there's delays and challenges happening here on the 16th but it does look like you're going to take charge of this with the cherry card energy or remember what i always say about the cherry card energy i always say the cherry card energy is like my travel card so it's like so there could be some kind of travel going on here which is causing block delays or challenges when it comes to romance here with the moon card energy so you'll overcome these blockage delays and challenges because you're going to take charge of this. And, and then there is romance here on this day with the moon card energy. And again, we see with the ship card energy, something to do with movement change or travel there. So we see this person, some kind of movement change or travel and romance, travel for romance. And then we see, I, I can see the bigger picture here. Um, there is love and abundance here and I'm going to be victorious around this. There's wisdom here because of commitment, engage your marriage, but there's some delays around it with the challenge card. 
Wow, guys, you do have this huge opportunity here. You see that, right? This, this huge opportunity and there's true love here. So let's sum this all up now. Okay, so they are single and available to pursue, but there's defensive energy about getting hurt because of family and long-term commitment. Now, I could see that because emperor can be like a fatherly energy. Empress can be the motherly energy, okay? So some of you may be dealing with that, which is causing blocks, delays, and challenges when it comes to this commitment. It's like, all right, they're single and available to pursue, but you know, I don't want to get hurt here because of family and long-term commitment. Or, you know, is there potential to start family and long-term commitment? So if it isn't family infringing upon this for you guys, it's something to do with the fact that you're defensive about will we be able to have a long-term family situation here? Okay. So single and available to pursue, there's flirty message, potential for passion, and they want your attention, six of wands energy, but there's stress here. Stress about what? Family and long-term commitment. And then we see there's hopefulness around this connection. And by the way, that energy could be Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. And are we going in the right direction here? And that's what the challenge is about, the snake card energy. <laughs> it's like, I'm really hopeful about this, but I have my wall up and I wanna make sure we're going in the right direction. I'm stressing about it. And that's what we see here, these challenges around this commitment because they're like, according to my life experiences, I don't know if this is the wisest choice and a wise decision, you know? Maybe they're just flirt, a flirty, fleeting kind of like passionate energy there, page of wands, you know. Maybe there can't be anything long term on this, right? And then what's going on here? What's your block chilling challenge? Come back to this. You're looking at the details here. You're trying to reveal some information so that things can turn in your favor. But on the same token, you're trying to be, you're like, maybe they're not being honest with me, right? That fox card energy is coming out. Oh my goodness. All right, my darlings, yes, you know I wanna hear from you guys in the comments below. If you guys like this, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. It's definitely gonna be an interesting week, that's for sure. You do have a lot going on here. It's lots of hard, hard conversations. You have an opportunity here. There's got lots of conversations happening here. And you're gonna gain new perspectives from this and there's romance and there's love here. So you got it, you got it all this week, that's for sure. All right, my darlings. And also you guys can check out the uh, monthlies as well as the bi-weeklies, which are up and available right now. Um, guys, have a great rest of your week. I'll see you in a day or two. I love you guys so much. I'll see you soon.